Story, what's up, girl? You all right? I'm good. What's going on? Man, I'm good. Wait, wait a minute. Where, where the palm trees at, though? Where, <laughs> where, where <do> I... <laughs> I'm back. I'm back in Houston. <laughs> okay, my partner back in the H. I got my partner, Miss Story, on the line right now. We're talking, man, we we, we uh, collaborating on some bonus insecure content. Miss yeah. Story. We were both surprised that Lawrence came back to the show, right? Right. <laughs> Did you expect for him to be on this season? Like, tell, be honest. No, of course not. At the beginning, you know, I told you, you know, I, I was over Lawrence. Like, okay, bye, Lawrence. Um, Issa moving on. Let's move on. Do something new. So, no, I did not expect Lawrence to come back at all. Hmm. I gotta be. I gotta be honest with you, Miss Story. I got to be honest. I expected my guy to show up for maybe like one episode, but maybe like the last episode on the eighth episode or something to lead into the new season. I didn't expect my boy to come back. What was that, the fifth or the fourth episode last week? Um, I think this was the fourth episode. Or fifth, I don't know. It, either way. <laughs> my either. Friend, I don't know. But I, <laughs> I didn't expect him. I didn't expect him to come back so soon, and he's probably going to end out the rest of the season. Now, you sent me an article during the week, right? I and think you was, was saying, <laughs> the headline basically said, I didn't lie. Um, I said he was taking a break. You know, a break can be a week. A break can be 30 days. You know, a break can be, you know, she was just, she was just telling us what a break can be. Before we get into that, what is a break to you, Astoria? Miss Story, tell me what a break is to you. In what perspective, though? Like, mm. <laughs> in general. Good question. Okay. In a, in a relationship, what is a break? Um, A break in a relationship to me is, um, you know, we're taking time apart from each other. We're going to work on ourselves. So you're going to work on you, and I'm going to work on me. Um, and then you could establish boundaries in between that. So we could decide we want to talk to other people or not talk to other people. But it's just we're taking a physical break from each other, meaning we're working on ourselves. That's what I would say a break is in a relationship. So so are you trying to tell me that a break is different from being broken up? Um, no, it could be broken up. It mean it could be we taking a break right now to see what's gonna happen, or we could get back together. It doesn't mean we broken. When you say broken up, that mean like for real, we broken up. Like we're not ever thinking about getting back together. We're not trying to work nothing out. None of that. Like done. Over. But Miss Story, if you take a break from somebody and y'all agree to date other people, that what, what I is said. That? You, I said you could or could not agree to date other people. What the specific part I'm saying is you take a break from each other to work on yourselves. But if you decide that you're going to date other people, then that's totally different. Right. I'm just saying you can establish whatever those boundaries are. It could be like, for example, I have a couple of friends that actually they were engaged. Um, they, they married now. They fine. But they took a break from each other. But it wasn't a break in the sense of we don't want to be together. It was like. I need you to do whatever you want to do so you can get your life right, okay? I know you, we've been together since high school. we never really been apart from each other type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they were like, take a break so that you can figure out what you like, right? And if this is truly where you want to be, we're going to get married. And we're going to let that be done. It's kind of like a hall pass. You know what I mean? You've seen that mm. movie hall pass before. Like, it was kind of like that. Mm. So I think a break could be, in a relationship, can be a couple of different things. So that's why I said, like, if you choose to date other people, like, I mean, that wouldn't be my break. But, you know, I have I do have friends that have done that. In the, in the past, have you been on a break in your relationships? Nah, I don't, I don't go on breaks. I just break up. We done. Mm. Once I'm done with you, I'm done. Mm, so now we're getting somewhere. So do you do you believe in breaks? I'm talking about Miss Story. Does Miss Story no. believe in breaks? No, I don't believe in breaks. I think I do think you need time apart to work on yourselves, but like I don't think you need a break. Like if we if it's a break, we broken up. We done. I'm not talking to you no more. Okay, then 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 let me ask you, because I'm trying to have a understanding of what time apart is in Miss Story's mind. 
does that mean that you're still y'all still boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever but i'm gonna be at my house you're gonna be at your house and, and exactly. we'll that's exactly what I mean. We are still exclusive to each other, meaning we're not dating other people. We are exclusive to each other, but you're taking time to work on whatever it is you need to work on, and I'm taking time to work on what I need to work on. So that means, that doesn't mean like um, the friendship stops, because I do totally believe that people should be friends before they're in any type of relationship. It doesn't mean that that stops. It doesn't mean you can't check on the person, but it means like we're not going out on a date, right? We're not trying to spend time together. Whatever it is you need to work on, that's what you need to work on. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Okay, okay, okay. So taking a break, or, or we didn't use the word, we used taking time apart. I'm over here, you over there. I'm going to still text you like, hey, what's up? Um, I'm going to still uh, see what's up with you. I'm just not in your face as much. Right. Mm. How long? How, how, how long can this go? To where it's still okay. Oh man, I hope I'm not losing my partner in this good conversation. Miss Story, get your get your connection together. Come back to me. You there, Miss Story? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, you kind of yeah, you kind of you was kind of buffering on your boy for a second, Miss Story. Question. We're talking about um, not taking a break, but time apart. How much okay. time apart is okay before it's just like, okay, my G, we done? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Is, is I a think month it's too long? A month is a long time. But I think it's something you should establish when y'all decide that y'all taking a break. Like, So I don't think that one person should decide we taking a break. Right. So, mm -hmm. I like this comment. Story. Somebody says, absent makes the heart grow fonder. Some people need to physically feel separation. People can get complacent without it. Mm. How you feel about That's that exactly comment right there? That's exactly what I was going to say. I love that comment. Thank you, Jayla. Um, oh, that's my friend, Janae. Hey, Janae, girl. Thank What's you for writing. Janae, girl? Uh-huh. <laughs> No, I agree. Absence does make the heart go fonder. Like, if you notice, a lot of people in long-distance relationships, um, they make it work, right? And it's part of it is because they decide, well, we're not going to go longer than this amount of time without seeing each other, but we can be apart. So, for example, I'm going to just throw this in there. I love Serena Williams' HBO special, okay? Amazing special. Talks about her comeback. But one of the things she did mention was she and um, Olympian, Olympia, the baby, went to France, right, for her to get her life right. She was away from her husband for three weeks. Newly married, new baby, away from her husband for three weeks. That was good because in the past, the way their relationship worked was he worked in San Francisco. She lived in Florida. So they kind of worked a long-distance relationship, but it made them appreciate each other even more. So absence truly makes the heart grow fonder. I, I totally believe that. Mm. Could you do a long distance relationship? I have before. I think I could. I could do it again. We, and, 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 and check this out, Miss Story. You don't have to get deep into your business. But right. How did that work out, though, that long distance relationship? Um, it worked out for a little bit, but it wasn't the long distance they got to us. It was gotcha. more so um, just us in general, being young, like just not being able to really articulate and communicate what we want to communicate. That's it. That's how it was. Got you. Got you. So, so if you're with a brother and y'all both in Houston, you know, we, but we, you, you with a brother, y'all both throwing the H up, <laughs> but then his, his job or his business calls for him to be in, I don't know, Atlanta for mm -hmm. two years. And you, you, you not, you not, um, you're you're not shabby. You got the I am queen thing popping off in Houston. So you can't just leave Houston like that. You can you can let this brother go to Atlanta for two years and y'all can figure it out through Skype and Instagram and uh social media. Um, I think what's gonna happen and this is just what I think would happen if I had that type of relationship is we wouldn't go 
more than two weeks to maybe three without seeing each other. So therefore, that means that either I'm flying to you, you flying to me, we meet in the middle, something. Because because at the same time, emotion uh, relationships are kind of you know physical. So not saying like not like sex or anything, but just a physical, the intimacy of people being around each other and together. And you don't want to lose that chemistry. So for me, it's going to be one of those like, OK, you can take that trip. That's not a problem. We're going to work it out. OK, Southwest side of Atlanta. OK, how cheap can we get these sites? How much out in advance can we book this out to make sure that, you know, our schedules work where we need to? And part of it, too, you know, I travel for I Am Queen, so I feel like, you know, people can meet me where I'm at. I tell people that all the time. Yo, you want to see me fly where I'm at? Stun on us <laughs> real quick. My partner just stunned on me, man. Last week, my partner had the palm trees behind her. She said, just travel. Tra I travel for a living, baby. It's nothing for me to hop on a plane. My partner say she'll travel to Atlanta to see her man. Would you hop on spirit, though? I flew Spirit before. Matter of fact, when I went to Paris, I flew the Spirit of International, which is Wild Airline. Okay, so <laughs> Wow is worse than Spirit. I'm just saying. My people, I don't know. I don't know if you hear my partner stunting on us on the low. She just <laughs> how she just gonna say she flew to? Yeah, I've been I've been on Spirit. I flew to Paris for a second. My partner say she been to Paris, man. She didn't say she hopped on the on the Spirit. To, to New Orleans. She says she hopped on the Spirit and took her passport with it her, wasn't, man. It wasn't Spirit. It was Wild Airlines, which is exactly like Spirit. But I have flown Spirit to... Matter of fact, I flew Spirit to Detroit, and I flew Spirit to New Orleans. I would prefer only flying short distances on Spirit. Hmm. But, you know, sometimes that just be the cheapest flight. You got to do what you got to do. Hmm. My partner, man. Look, man, my partner missed story, man. We... Hey, check this out, people. We started out talking about Insecure and about um, Issa Rae talking about Lawrence was taking a break from the show. But, man, we detoured into some amazing content right now, man. My partner is creating some amazing content right now. Let me let me bring it back to Insecure for a second, Miss Story. Okay. Did Issa Rae lie to us? Because well, before you answer, before you answer, she was all in interviews like, nah, man, you know, he's not on, you know, we done moved on. We're going to see what Daniel talking about. And Miss Story, three episodes into Daniel, huh, we're done. And now my boy, now you got your boy from H-Town on there. And then we done slid my boy Lawrence back in there. Did Issa lie to me, Miss Story? So I'm going to say she didn't lie. I'm going to read her tweet. Her tweet mm -hmm. said, Shout out to X Bay for setting the record straight. I did not lie. P.S. Um, this actually the first time that <laughs> media outlet has actually worked in my favor. And so it goes on to say, like in the article, basically that um she said he was taking a break. And to be and to be honest, I mean, I don't I had to go back and like really do some research or whatever. I don't remember her saying that he, like, wasn't coming back at all. They just said they was taking a break from him, like, after I went back and started listening to it. But I think what happened was we got distracted by all that. Lawrence ain't back. Oh, wait, we got to get a GoFundMe page for Lawrence to come back. And So, you know what I'm saying? So, we got the message kind of got lost in there. And so, I think I think that's what really happened. Yeah, we, we did low-key overreact because I know I <laughs> overreacted. I was listening. I jumped out the window behind my boy Lawrence, man, because I was repping for my guy Lawrence, man, and I jumped out the window. Issa, I apologize for that. I apologize. Miss Story, Miss Story, this is some great content right here. What what else? What, what else? You, what's on your mind right now, Miss Story? What you got? I'm just saying I'm okay with Lawrence not coming back. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait hey, I, Miss Story, I don't like your energy right now, okay? You, you, you need to change your energy when you talk about my guy Lawrence, man. We, we gave your boy Daniel a shot, okay? Okay. He was messing with and the other girl, gonna, he was like. We're going to give Nathan, we're going to give Nathan a shot now. Okay. Oh, see, 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 see. I don't like your consistency right now. 
I don't like your consistency. You was rolling with Daniel. Now you're talking about Nathan. Where, where, which one we going, which, where are we at with it, Miss Story? Um, what I am about is growth, okay? Growth. I don't feel like you should go backwards, okay? That's just me. I'm not saying that people don't come back around in your life and that they're meant to be in your life, but I um I really feel like you should try what's in front of you. And so introducing Lawrence back into the picture makes me feel like she's not going to give 100% with Nathan because she got that thing in the back of her mind, like, ooh, you know, at the end of – Season two, we saw, you know, her and Lawrence being all what could have happened, right? So I feel like that's in the back of her mind. And so we're going to go back to that and we're not going to give fully the attention that may need to be to Nathan because Nathan has pulled her out of her box. I'm just saying. He pulled her out and was like, boo, you could do this. You got it. Don't worry about it. Making her make changes. And sometimes that's what you need. Sometimes the person you love is not the person you're supposed to be with. Just saying. Mm. Okay, even even though Nathan is wanted by somebody, I haven't put my finger around it, but Na I like Nathan, but he's a little, uh, it's, it's just something I can't trust about him. Miss Story. That he wanted? How you gonna just, just throw that out down that man? Did, listen, when, like I told you, Miss Story, when he whooped the man in the, in, the, uh, in the lift in Issa's car, he had to hurry up and get out of there. Then when they went skinny dipping, he got stabbed in the chest and didn't want to explain that scar. <laughs> it, it's something to that, brother, and we're going to find out about that, Miss Story. Maybe he's from Houston and he's from the hood. So some things just happened to him in his past. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I, you know what, Miss Story, I'll roll with that, and I should be more sensitive to that because we living in the H, and, and right. we, know what, we know how it goes down out here, Miss Story. So you're right. My partner, Miss Story, just checked me on that. She said, Brad Tuck, you need to relax because we live in the H. You know how it gets. You know how we get down out here, Miss exactly. Miss Story. You got Daniel, you got Lawrence, you got Nathan. Mm -hmm. Based off of what you've seen so far, who do you think Issa has the best vibe with? Mm. I'm going to go with Nathan. I'm definitely going to go with Nathan because we truly see Issa be honest from jump with him. Whereas with Lawrence, she lie and kind of like tiptoe around stuff. And then with Daniel, um, she saw certain things, but we never really got to see truly how she was really really feeling like they never really just kind of like really worked it out she knew that you know this is just like mm, for right now you know what i'm saying even though it was implicated that it could have been more it was like a, mm, this is just right now with nathan i think that he definitely brought her outside the box and he definitely um made her made us see her in a different light so i'm interested to see her with him mm. i think Okay, okay, man. So check this out, man. Me and my partner, Miss Story, we, we're giving you some mid-season insecure content. We kind of veered off into some real-life content. This is, it, listen, uh, Sunday night, man, insecure. You got Nathan, you got my boy Lawrence on there. We're going to see how things pan out. We're going to see what's on Molly's mind. We're going to see what's on Tiffany's mind. We're going to see what's on... Issa's mind. We're going to see what's on what's the other girl's mind? Kelly. We're going to see what's on Kelly's mind, man. We're going to see what's on everybody's mind. We're going to see where things are going. Uh, insecure, man. Sunday night. Miss Story, before we get out of here, what, what, what do you want to tell the people or whatever you got to tell them? Let them know. Uh, man, tune in to Insecure on Sunday night. And don't jump on our live if you ain't seen Insecure yet. Talking about you ain't seen it yet. You don't want nobody to know about it. Yeah. Just go ahead and watch it when it come on so we can all talk about it together because we like reading y'all comments. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Man, listen. <laughs> y'all, another amazing conversation with my partner, Miss Story, man. She's, again, she, she's killing you with content every week, man. She's bodying you with this content, man. Y'all follow my partner, Miss Story, man. 
um, M S underscore S T O R I. She has her event, Afro Afro Chicks. Yes, Afro Chick Run is on Saturday. Afro Chick Run is on Saturday. Um, you can donate to the campaign. So go to her um, Instagram and donate. And I'm going to do it as soon as I get off of here because I've been saying I was going to do it. It's been slipping my mind. I'm going to do it as soon as we get up off of here. But donate to my partner's campaign, man. She's out here making things happen for us, our community. She's educating our community, man. And we got to get behind her and we got to support her, man. But y'all know what it is, man. You got the bread tuck your Got my partner, Miss Story, and we will be back with you Sunday night after Insecure to give you this amazing content, man. Y'all mucho take it easy. H-Town all day. H-Town. All right, girl.